Escape from the ordinary at Crane's Beach House Hotel and Tiki Bar. A tropical paradise nestled in the heart of Delray Beach. Distinctive, authentic Florida charm. A tranquil, Key West-like experience. Just one block from the Atlantic Ocean. Relax and unwind at our Tiki Bar. Enjoy live music Thursday through Saturday. Or reserve the whole space for your own private event or special occasion. Crane's Beach House Hotel and Tiki Bar. Come get away today. My name is Patrick Cousins and I am the president and owner of Cousins Law Firm APA. Our practice focuses on lemon law, uh, breach of warranty matters, and also personal injury. Lemon law really relates to new cars, uh, cars that are 24 months or younger. And when you buy a brand new car, one of the reasons you do it is because you think that you're getting something that's trouble free. So if you have to keep bringing your car back to the dealership for the same problem over and over again, then you might have a limit. Welcome to Kiss My Biz, your weekly reality business show, where each week a business owner joins our good cop and bad cop duo looking for real but informative business solutions and resources to grow your business. Our good cop, Claude Jenkins, has a diverse career ranging from government, corporations, and management consulting. He is the Vice President of Operations at Global Business Development Center and a guardian angel for most businesses. Annette Gray, a.k.a. Bad Cop is the president and owner of Global Business Development Center. She has 20 years experience in management, economic development, and marketing in the private and public sector. She is passionate about developing entrepreneurs. Let's join our dynamic duo as they place another business owner in the hot seat and find out if they are ready to kiss their business with love. Or is today the day they kiss their business goodbye? Good evening and welcome to Kiss My Biz. This is the first show of the new year, 2014. Happy New Year to all of our listeners, not just in Boca del Rey, South Florida, and nationally listening to us on iHeartRadio. How are you, Claude? I'm doing pretty good for the new year. Are you? Yes. Did you do anything exciting over the holidays? No, you know, watch the, watch the seasons change. Watch the seasons change. We have seasons in Florida? Uh, I rest my case. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Kathy Balistrieri with us. Uh, she is a, our guest in our hot seat. Uh, Kathy is the general manager of Crane's Beach House Hotel. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. So how are you? I'm pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, it's a good start to the new year for us. Yeah. And can you tell us about the place absolutely cranes beach house hotel is a very unique hotel we're a boutique hotel um we've been um in the in the hotel business um now for about 10 years and we're a fun festive uh key west style hotel with 27 suites luxury suites and we're we're just one of the hottest places in delray beach i have to say like we really I have, have a to unique agree. product it's magical when our guests arrive they they love it most often they want to stay longer <laughs> So it's just a really great little place to work, and I love my business. But we definitely have some challenges, just like other places, and I think that's why I'm here today with, with the experts. Oh, well. you're an expert, Claude? <laughs> 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 so because we are always saying how short and how quickly the time goes by, I just want us to go ahead and delve in and ask Kathy um, what subject matter we're discussing. What are we tag teaming this week? I'd love to focus on sales and marketing. Um, we we definitely have a strong presence and a brand that we've been building over the past 10 years, but I felt like if we could take any time today that I could ask the experts anything, I'd want to ask about sales and marketing. Um, we are into our 10th year, almost 11th year of operation, and, and we now want to do something that's a little more fresh and, and relevant to the market, so we're taking our marketing plan and for 2014 we're going to revise it and work on some things and we've changed some things up so mostly my questions are going to be um, you know what can we do that is a little differently and is it worth doing it um, okay. in the, into the future sounds like a good subject so go ahead shoot the first question all right so um, basically we 
We've been doing a lot of the tried and true um, pr traditional marketing things, so print ad, um, local newspapers. Um, most recently, we've partnered um, with Comcast and started to do some TV commercials in our area. So we're currently running a commercial. We're very excited about it. We filmed it, and we're currently running the commercial um, in its 22 different TV stations, and it's local to one area. So we've we've kind of mostly are focusing on an area that is local to us, the Royal Palm, that area um, in Florida. And it's a dry market for us, so it's a little different, but it's been successful so far, but we're not really sure if it's something we want to commit to long term. It's a big portion of our budget, um, a really big portion of our budget that we've kind of taken some of our funds that we've been working and partnering with Wiz Visit Florida for so many years, and we moved it over into this new adventure so I think we're asking um, you know is is it a good area for us to dive into being a hotel how will it help us in the future and do you think it's worth doing so as the bad cop I am going to go ahead and ask you a f few very direct questions um, we're going to go to break in a few minutes but you so you will have some time to think about these very poignant questions that I'm going to throw at you and particularly those questions because when it comes to marketing and, and TV in particular, it's very important to have set goals prior to delving into your television campaign. So did you set any goals in terms of um, who you wanted to reach, how many people you wanted to reach, and more importantly, what is that benchmark so that you know that it's working? Um, is it a number of phone calls? It's a number of rooms booked. Uh, so that's well, we at Cranes, our marketing team loves to find, um, try to figure out exactly where our market, where most of our reservations are coming from. So we do have the information at hand. We're lucky enough to have that. And we've been able to see that a good portion of our reservations are coming now from the market that we're, that we're now advertising in through the commercials. So we, we know it's working um, and we have the numbers to prove it. But we don't know if it's if it could work better. If it's something, you know, should we continue to do it a little bit longer? And maybe setting the goals would be a help. I can see that that being a good thing. Um, but we pretty much took the idea that we should do more of a general commercial when we filmed it, instead of trying to like look just at the specific person that we were marketing to. So, Which so we did a general commercial. Yeah, which is what you might want to really take a serious look at is to, is instead of the shotgun approach try to use the rifle approach where you address the one person you really want to talk to in basically in the sense of uh, you're talking to the person from the television that's a good that's a good idea I usually say to clients listen create your own avatar of your customer tell me exactly if not the current client that you have now, the current client you would try to reach. Are they soccer moms? Are they business executives? Um, is it family trying to get away just for a weekend on an affordable budget? And then create a voice and a message that's pointed to that particular person. So for the most part, we've, we've been able to create and put the budget together and create the commercial. So now what you're saying is that we should take more money out of our budget and maybe recreate the commercials to be more focused? They definitely do need to be more focused. Yes. And the thing about television advertising, marketing, any advertising, it's going to be um, speaking to a specific emotional trigger. That's how you, you get at that person. That's how you prompt that individual to pick up the phone and call you. And emotional triggers range from you know, create a getaway weekend, be be happy, leave the dogs at home, leave the kids at home, quiet time, save money. Those are all emotional triggers that we need to speak to. We do need to take a commercial break. You're <laughs> listening to Kiss My Biz, and um, you can listen to us live at www globalbusinessdevelopmentcenter.com and the second half of our show we will have Karen Means who is the publisher of Her Life magazine and she will follow up to speak about maximizing your advertising dollars um, she's particularly in the area of print but I think will still work well for the discussion today we'll be back from the or
Extraordinary at Crane's Beach House Hotel and Tiki Bar. A tropical paradise nestled in the heart of Delray Beach. Distinctive, authentic Florida charm. A tranquil, Key West-like experience just one block from the Atlantic Ocean. Relax and unwind at our Tiki Bar. Enjoy live music Thursday through Saturday. Or reserve the whole space for your own private event or special occasion. Crane's Beach House Hotel and Tiki Bar. Come get away today. One of the most important decisions is finding a reputable company that manages care for the elderly. Atlas Care Management is such a company. All of their geriatric care managers are licensed, experienced nurses and social workers, and their mission is to maintain the highest quality of life for their clients, acting as a family member would. Call today for more information, 954-334-5821. They have the knowledge of the medical community and the resources available that would make any client comfortable and happy. They believe their clients deserve only the best. Their independence nurtured by caring staff. Continually searching for available alternatives to serve unique needs, even as their situation changes with time. Call today for more information, 954-334-5821. Or visit our website, atlascaremanagement.com. 954-334-5821 is the number to personalized and compassionate service. Welcome back to Kiss My Biz, where we invite you to call at 888-565-1470 and speak to our subject matter expert and access resources that will grow your business. www.globalbusinessdevelopmentcenter.com is our website for further information. Now, back to Kiss My Biz. And we're back. As you can see, we're still here. And I'm Claude, the good cop. And I have Annette over here, the bad cop. And we have Kathy as our guest. So welcome back, Kathy. We were talking about television advertising in, in particular. And one of your questions was, um, how long should we leave a, a spot running? And how do we know when to pull it or when to leave it? Um, a little bit longer and unfortunately the answer to that is testing you almost have to line it up with those goals that you're going to make and determine you know what is your cost per spot how much is it costing you we're, we're at we have a total budget um, somewhere between a thousand to two thousand per month okay so we would have to then either I guess we would have to reduce the amount money that we're spending in each market that that, that's definitely one approach if, if you're in this in if you want to continue this for somewhat of a long journey if you're mm-hmm. into it for a long time then it makes sense to pull uh, some of your dollars and I'm not sure particularly where because I always think it's very irresponsible to speak out of turn when you don't have all the information in front of you but what I'm suggesting is that you have this general spot, but you create a spot also that speaks to particular um, emotional triggers. Speak to someone in in particular. So what would be an example of doing An that? example is if you wanted attorneys to come to the hotel to have small meetings, okay. okay, then you say that and you target it specifically to that audience. If you want newly Weds, newlyweds, newlyweds, or um, someone who's just a family just with a young a newborn, and make it that first getaway weekend after you know having been staying up late, you know that type of thing. So, so you pick a very strong emotional trigger, and you create something around that. Now, like you said, you've been there for ten years, so you have some historical data that this doesn't need to be a shot in the dark. You have a fairly good idea, I would suggest, of who makes up your clientele locally. Do you want more of those? We we thought this year that we would try something similar to that, but it's still I still believe that a lot of times having that general message still hits so many different people. Once we get them to the hotel and they're there, we know that they're a loyal customer and they're a loyal guest. They're staying. They love it. But one of the things that um, we're thinking about doing is creating a specific package that we can run year round. Um, And we're calling it a bucket list package. So we're gonna create this package that pretty much can be designed to target market each and every individual person 
according to different types of activities in the area. So we might be able to do that and create the, the commercial around that package. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, as a bad cop, I'm going to say yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm targeted marketing typically is not going to give you the same results as the marketing that is speaking to that specific emotional trigger as speaking to that particular individual. It needs to say, hey you, mom, watching the TV, get up and come to Cranes because we're going to you in an oasis without you spending a lot of dollars and going somewhere on vacation. As don't the good cop, let me give you an example <laughs> that you probably have seen. Um, the cruise lines. If you notice, the Disney cruise line addresses the adults because they know the children will come, but they try to address the adults as we will take care of the children so that the adults can have fun. And that is a very strong emotional trigger. That's a very strong emotional trigger. Uh, another way to do it is to, to do it around um, special moments special moments and holidays so you know if you didn't want to target specifically an individual or individuals you could create packages around Mother's Day um, around Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day again those are all special moments no matter what's going on with the economy people seem to find a way to still continue to get married it could be weddings um, it could be Mother's Day it could be you know Valentine's Day around those emotional triggers as well. Um, I find that business owners tend to be very resistant about targeted marketing messages. Yes. I will say that I do, do not target market as much as we'd like. As far as the message, we, right. know, we know who our market, our typical market is, but we haven't really been very good at taking what our images and then creating it specifically for that person. So I can see that. And I'm going to tell you a great example is is toothpaste. Have you been down the toothpaste aisle lately? <laughs> how many yes. to, how, how many toothpaste do we need? Yeah. You know, uh, but it's a it's now not a single aisle anymore. It's now two aisles, and it's it's best example of targeted marketing I can think of. You have mint, you have tartar, you have whitening. I even saw something with yeah. green tea toothpaste. Yes. How much toothpaste? green tea could there be in toothpaste for it to be a, a health yeah. <laughs> kind of health so you're brushing your teeth all day to, get the, to lose five pounds <laughs> okay it works, right? so it's a great example that industry is a great example of target marketing they're going to put every single emotional trigger on a separate tube of toothpaste that's going to speak to every single issue mm -hmm. someone could potentially have walking down that and I aisle. agree with you on on trying to create those campaigns that way, but my, I think my biggest concern as a small business is trying to find the budget to be able to test the market, because that's where it becomes costly. Mm -hmm. So by testing it, I have to put more money out, and it, it tends to take away from other things that we may or may not know Absolutely. that already work, social media, those And that's why my original yeah. question is, how, how married are you to TV? Because it is one of your more expensive um, outlets for advertising your business. Uh, but I always say to clients, if you are not able to continue a particular media of advertising for at least a year, then you can plan on not being as successful as you think you might want to be in your head. Uh, so from a budget standpoint, you, you take a look at it from that standpoint. We only have one more minute with, mm -hmm. with Kathy, unfortunately. Oh. Tell us about Crane's Beach House. Tell us where you're located and your phone number so listeners okay. can, can come by and see you and anything you have going on. We are, again, one of the most amazing little resorts in, in South Florida. I can really say that it's a tropical place. It's magical. There are 27 suites. It's almost as if you're renting out your own private guest house. Um, we're a block off the beach. We're right off of trendy Delray Beach downtown area. And we really just, we have guests that come in and stay with us and they're loyal. They come back year after year. And it's like their second home. So it's really a beautiful little place. And if you have some time, make sure you stop by and see it. And, and your features? address and phone number and website. Yes, we're 82 Gleason Street in Delray Beach. And we are our website is www.cranesbeachhouse.com. Fantastic. Yes. Well, thank you so much. I personally love Cranes. It's my oasis home away from home. I call it the Key West of 
Delray, and I get I, away there as often as I can. I was introduced to it last month, and I really do like it. Thank you. Yes. You guys are doing a great job Thank over you. there. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for getting in the hot seat. It wasn't too Thank bad, you. was it? No, it wasn't bad at all. <laughs> We'd like to come back. We'll be the dimmer all first, see? <laughs> Well, we are going to take a break, and then we will have the producer of um, Her Life magazine, Kathy, um, oh, Karen Means, <laughs> I'm having name dilemmas here, uh, talk, us, talk to us a little bit more about marketing today. Escape from the ordinary at Crane's Beach House Hotel and Tiki Bar. A tropical paradise nestled in the heart of Delray Beach. Distinctive, authentic Florida charm. A tranquil, Key West-like experience just one block from the Atlantic Ocean. Relax and unwind at our Tiki Bar. Enjoy live music Thursday through Saturday. Or reserve the whole space for your own private event or special occasion. Crane's Beach House Hotel and Tiki Bar. Come get away today. Global Business Development Center is a one-stop shop boutique firm specializing in services for public and private organizations, small businesses, and entrepreneurs looking to establish, grow, or improve their profit margin. The organization is primarily dedicated to help clients explore new markets, as well as startup and expansion opportunities by providing training, support services, funding, and business development resources. Call today, 561-894-4500 or visit our website, www.globalbusinessdevelopmentcenter.com. We provide products for business owners at every stage of business development, from idea feasibility through startup, growth, and expansion. We use state-of-the-art technology, including webinars, as well as video and phone conferencing to meet the needs of our clients globally. Call today, 561 894 for Your business started in the right direction. Welcome back to Kiss My Biz, where we have another business owner on the hot seat. If you can't stand the heat, don't get in the kitchen. Our good cop, bad cop duo continues to challenge today's business owners to take on the 21st century business world fearlessly. Now, back to our show. And we're back. And don't forget, you can contact us at... 888-565-1470 and this is Kiss My Biz and I'm the good cop, Claude Jenkins. I'm Annette Gray, the bad cop, and with us today we have Karen Allen Means. Did I say that right? It's very close. Close enough. <laughs> you can correct me. And you are the publisher, editor-in-chief of Her Life magazine. Welcome. Oh, thank you. I'm very happy to be here tonight. So we've been talking about marketing, and um, I love your magazine. Thank I you. am an advertiser in the magazine. We've been very happy with um, what's been happening. Mm -hmm. um, and the results so far, but primarily you are here as a subject matter expert today. Okay. And as you, if you've been listening to the first half of this segment, it's the same questions that small businesses have. How do I leverage my advertising dollars? When do I know it's working? When do we pull it? You know, those types of things. So that's what, you know, you do this every day. You, you work with advertisers in publishing the magazine, and I'm sure those questions are posed to you as well. What do you take? Yeah, and those are great questions, and I did have an opportunity to listen to the discussion between you and Kathy, and you gave her some great, great advice. And as a, a publishing house and... A little bit closer. There you go. Thank you. Okay, as a, as a publisher of a magazine, um, what our group likes to do and, and say is that we're an extension of our the businesses that we represent we're not interested in just selling them a piece of paper but actually be an extension of what they have going on so what we like to do and what I suggest with other small businesses is that when they're looking for where they're going to spend their advertising dollar is to look to see make sure that who they're working with do have their best interest at hand um, it should be a one-on-one -on -one discussion where you're looking at goals make sure the goals are attainable how you're going to measure them and moving forward um, but with advertising it's not a it's not a coupon, it's not a coupon. So when you're going to advertise in something like a medium like print or even radio or television, it does take a few months um, because people 
are a creature of habit. They want to see it. They want to get familiar with it. And then, as you said, evoke an emotion. So when they are looking for that next trip or that purchase, they're going to work with the person whose ad that they've seen. Um, but some measurable uh, things that you can put in there, are, there's things like QR codes or a certain telephone number that you can use or when a business owner can ask specifically how did you hear about about my company and then keep track of that and then you're going to find out is that medium working for you um, and also it's very important to understand what advertising is it's you know it's it's for branding and exposure so um, I know we, we don't make promises as far as by advertising with us you're going to get 50 customers of course our your interest is our interest but we do guarantee branding and exposure and leaving the magazine and leaving the, leaving the publication where people can see it. And I know cu uh, customers ask me or clients ask me all the time as a marketing person, what should I put in that ad? What What are some of the things that you put in that ad? How is that ad structured um, to better speak to that target audience? Is that something you'd be able to speak to? Um, in every, I, I can like to address that. And every business is, is different. Sure. And so the buzzwords and the key phrases will be uh, more uh, geared to each business but in print advertising you're going to give the reader if they can't grasp and understand the information within a three second period you have too much information on on the page so when you're writing your content you want to make sure that it's quick it's easily to understand and the client is going to understand it in a quick brief moment uh, we do have some people who try to put every piece of detailed information and those were you know we advise them that people are not going to read that as a novel and it's not going to be read so as long as people are open mm -hmm. to constructive criticism <laughs> <laughs> and I think you, you you guys do a great job at that at that over at her life magazine one of the things I like about working with you is your willingness to expose your clients across your different mediums, mm -hmm. um, your willingness to share your customers' information on a Facebook or um, on your digital magazine as well as your print magazine. Mm -hmm. And that's something I look for as a client. Does that vendor, that TV station or that print magazine offer to cross-promote you, you know? additional methods of advertising. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we have just about a minute. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Her Life magazine, a minute, <laughs> how to reach you, um, and what's your purpose in this market? Okay, uh, Her Life magazine, our motto is keeping women connected. We cover from Vero Beach all the way down to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we're the perfect venue for small magazines looking to uh, reach the decision maker, which are women. Women we either make the decision or influence those decisions, and we're a great product for that. Uh, I can be reached on my cell, 561-306-5055, and our website is www.herlifemagazine.com forward slash South Florida. Thank you so much, Karen, yes. for joining us. And once again, that is a successful 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Gem packed with quite a bit of information. I want to thank you so much for coming and thank Kathy Bell Sherry for coming and sharing the hot seat with us this week. See you next week again. been listening to Kiss My Biz, your weekly reality business show, where each week a business owner joins our good cop and bad cop duo looking for real but informative business solutions and resources to grow your business. Tune in again next time for more Kiss My Biz. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or